The latest episode in this fucking transfer window. Jesus Christ. This club is a disgrace. It's an absolute disgrace what is happening to this football club. I don't know if there's many of my followers or subscribers, should I say, that are old enough to witness the Leeds United side in 2004 that got relegated. Um, they were better than this current crop of pussies that we've got at Arsenal right now. Um... Unless you've been living on the moon, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain's en route to Liverpool. Well, in my opinion, he should be done for match-fixing. Because what he did at the weekend was nothing short of a fucking disgrace. He didn't try. He wasn't trying. He couldn't be asked. He didn't want to play that game. Why did Wenger play him in that game? Why did Wenger start a player who clearly don't want to be here? Can somebody tell me the answer to that? He should be done for match-fixing. It's scandalous. We've just, um, anybody who's on Twitter, I know a lot of you aren't, but um, the ones that are on Twitter, the Arsenal media puppet, David Ornstein, and people go nuts for this guy because he's absolutely spot on all the time. Nah. He gets told information from the club and he gets told to pull it out there. The way the media works, and I'm going to give you a little bit of an education here for the ones that don't know, and I'm not trying to mug people off by, by speaking like that either. Um, the way the media works is they throw a story out there and they assess the reaction off of that story and then they go with it from there. So depending on what way the reaction goes depends on how they go on from that story. So I'll give you an example. Early in the transfer window, Arsenal were linked with a world record deal, because obviously Neymar hadn't been sold at that point, for Kylian Mbappe. That story got thrown out. Everyone's going mad. Everyone. We're all going nuts. Yeah, Mbappe, Mbappe. Really? Off of the back of that Mbappe story, everyone renewed their season tickets. Clever. Very clever. And guess what? Mbappe didn't come. But they did the job. The puppet threw out there. Everybody else threw out there in the media. Arsenal were linked with Mbappe because the club feed these journalists. These journalists are clueless. They only get told what they want to be uh, what the club want them to know. Okay? Um, now David Ornstein has fed some information this evening that Arsenal have got no money to spend in this transfer window. Well, we've made a profit, mate, because Oxley chamberlains about to sign for Liverpool for nearly 40 million quid. So we're about £28 million in profit. So can somebody tell me where the money is? Because he's thrown that story out there to get a reaction and the club are going to assess how angry we are and then they're going to go and panic by Johnny Evans. Because that's what's going to happen, let's face it. They are going to panic by. We've got, what, 20-odd hours of the transfer window to go? There's talk that Alexis Sanchez is going to Man City. There's talk that Mustafi is going to Inter Milan. Oxlade-Chamberlain is clearly en route to Liverpool. He's going for a medical as we speak. What is going on at this club? Seriously, what is going on at this club? We sold our arses to leave Highbury... The most one of the most iconic stadiums in world football, one of the classiest football clubs we were back then. We had a team full of winners, a team full of men. Now we've got a team full of pussies. They don't want to play for this club, they don't want to play for the badge, and they don't want to fight, they don't want to do anything. And do you know what? It's fucking heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking even speaking about it because I get so wound up and so angry. And it just pisses me off. And now we're, we're selling all of our best players again. Well, let me, let me tell you a lot, saying because there's millions, and I mean this as well, there is millions of people in the world that believe Arsenal's Emirates Stadium is paid off. Let me tell you something now. It's halfway paid off. 
It's on a 25-year mortgage that started in 2006. Okay? So it's halfway through. So all this talk of the stadiums paid, we went through hard times. We had to sell Van Persie. We had to sell Nasri, Sesk, Kleb, Vermalin, Abue, Sanya, and any other fucker you can name. We didn't have to sell them. The stadium cost 20 million a season. That's fact. That is fact. 20 million pounds is the payment on the stadium per season. And that is including the interest. Okay? Arsenal's income last season was 369 million pounds. 369 million pounds. Minus 20 million is 349 million pounds. Now, our wage bill was close to 200 million pounds. You do the maths. That's everyone on the, in, the, in the company paid, because it is a company now. It's not a fucking football club. The football club died when we left Highbury. It's a business now. Do the maths. Now, can somebody tell me how we have got no money and we're sat here with less than 30 hours to go on, on a transfer window and we're in profit and we are selling players left, right and centre? Can somebody explain that to me? Because I am baffled. And I'll tell you something now, right? I've heard a story today, don't know if you guys have heard it, that Stan Kroenke has basically used Arsenal as an insurance policy for other investments in America. And that's one of the reasons why we can't go out and spend money. If that's the case, whether you're Wenger in or Wenger out, we've got to do something. And there'll be, there'll be wheels in motion. I'll be speaking to a few people and letting you guys know as soon as I know. So if that is true, that is, a, that is just scandalous. And do you know what? You see all these Americans that have allowed Stan Kroenke to relocate his club from here to there? Nah, bruv. This is England. We ain't standing for that shit. And nothing against anyone in America, because some of my best mates are American. But in England, we ain't having that. Yeah, this guy, we will not stop until his head is on a fucking stick. Okay? So, let's all club together. Let's all pull in the right direction. Between Kroenke and Wenger, they are killing our football club. And they are literally ripping the heart out of our football club. And it's so painful to even sit and talk about it. So I'm going to go and fuck off now. Okay? But, yeah. Wow. We're selling everyone. It's like going back to 2008. Although back then we played good football. We're not too good to go down. There was talk a couple of seasons ago about Chelsea being relegated when they started off so poorly. Well, we're worse than them because they were fucking title winners. Yeah, so let's have it right. We ain't too good to go down. And as it stands, with Sanchez going to City, because that is going to happen, and with um, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain going to Liverpool, well, there's two of our better players going. And all along... I've been saying, we've got to go out and buy four or five players. We've got to, at least three players. Could have been done so many weeks ago. Anyway, I'm going to go and uh, enjoy some dinner, a couple of drinks. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. It's fucking demoralising, seriously. This club will be the death of me. Anyway, thanks for watching. Laters, peeps.